Hey, so, uh, this time I wanted to play raid mode. I don't know if I'll, like, record myself playing all of it, but I at least want to, like, you know, record my, uh, first time, you know, playing through some of it. Because I know it can be, like, it'll probably get a little repetitive after a while, but I still really like raid mode. And I just want to, I want to just check it out, see how it's different from the previous one. I already like um went into the raid mode menu last night. Um I never I didn't actually like start a level or anything. I just started up this part. Um and like the main menu is like you're just walking around in a room and you can go up to different things to do different options. So I was like looking through the costumes that I have cuz I've got the retail version so it comes with some free costumes. Oh, all right. Yeah, this shit. I think uh, the Red Queen has something to do with this, which is funny because I was like mentioning that last night. Uh, I wonder if she'll talk again. But yeah, just, the thing is like, is it something like modified Red Queen or I don't know. I've got levels? How do I have progress in this? That's weird. Because I know I sure shit didn't do anything. I think what I wanted to use is... So, do these guys have separate levels? Do I really have to, like... God, it seems crazy if they all have separate levels. Alright, fucking Lady Hunk. This is... I, ever since I saw this Lady Hunk, I, I wanted to play that. Um, so, I was redoing episode one, mostly Claire's stuff. I was getting, like, the, um... I was getting the collectibles and stuff. I, I still don't know for sure if I had collectibles available within the in the first playthrough or not. I don't know if you have to beat it. I know when you beat it, it's a little different the second time. So a few things I learned. Just just house housekeeping, whatever. I learned that each character's um, their custom parts and their ammo and all that stuff, it's completely separate. And if you replay the same level over and over again, your ammo counts and what you've got, it, it carries over between replays. So, you know, I uh, I ended one playthrough, I had like nine handgun bullets. I started up again, I've got nine handgun bullets, so... and uh, But I don't have any of the custom parts from Barry's side. So, I guess that means I can just use do whatever I want with the parts I get. I don't have to like save them for Claire's side or save them for Barry's side or whatever. Other thing is the flamethrower thing, the flamethrower bust part. Um, I read that you can actually you can actually crouch underneath the spinning blade, the one that has the yellow custom part. You can just crouch right under that thing, and uh, if you can get yourself and your AI partner to come down there with you, then all the enemies just walk right into it and kill themselves. And that's also a nice way to get eight um, eight whatever kills with the blades. So I was like, okay, that made that easy. Um, what is this? Oh, E-Capital. It's just, uh, all right. Um, deployment cost. It costs money to play levels. Well, let's do it, I guess. I think there's one more thing. Or maybe that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. Level 100 up. Oh, fucking Christ. Wow. How fast are levels? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I learned that you actually can use L1 and R1. It was just a um, an option I never considered. Oh, fuck yes, this music. That's what I'm talking about. I fucking love raid mode. What are those hearts next to my thing? The blue hearts and the red hearts. Okay. Do these guys drop anything? Oh, that is some fucking sick ass music. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna stop going for headshots. Oh shit, yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, shit. God damn, I can't get over that music. So, the, the unfortunate thing about uh, finally learning that I can invert my uh, stuff is that I am pretty used to... I'm pretty damn used to the uh, the other controls now. Dun, dun, dun. Can I open anything? Is there... I wish I had a map around here. I'm just seeing, like, there's gotta be, like, some side stuff with, like, things to get. I could use some ammo, you know? I feel like there's probably someone behind me. There it is. Oh, what do you guys want? Do I have a- oh yeah, I've got another weapon. Forgot. What the hell? Oh shit! Fuck! Thought you was dead. I took a hit. Man. I think one thing I learned is, uh... Area key. One thing I learned is, uh... In my, you know, original... Original- oh shit. Original playthrough of, like... Um, really? Oh wow, I'm full up on machine gun. Uh, basically, machine guns are pretty good in raid mode. At least they were in the first game. I just like raid mode because it's like RPG type stuff, you know? I like that I don't have to open it and then pick it up or anything. I can just... Oops. Get over here. There you go. I'm gonna go pick up that ammo now. I was looking at the uh, Resident Evil 6 controls, and you know, when you play Resident Evil 6, the controls aren't that bad, but when I look at the controls in the context of this game, it's like, that doesn't seem nearly as uh, good, does it? <laughs> it's not really as usable in that uh, in this game. So, I totally didn't go for that. Here we go, this is what I wanted. I guess this is like the only thing to get aside from opening up boxes. Getting a shit ton of ammo. I guess instead of giving you a lot of um, drops, they give you a few drops that give you a lot. They don't seem to hide much. This is definitely more fast paced, I think. This is pretty simple. This is kind of like, almost like mercenaries, but not quite. Just, just the feel of it. I mean, obviously not, because like mercenaries is more of a, a wave-based type thing, and this is more of a get to the end type thing. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, machine guns are totally pretty good here. Oh, I should do one of my. Uh, I should show you, shit, Wesker's, uh, whatchamacallit, his taunt, not his taunt, but like his gestures. G Every character's got like six gestures where they actually say some words, but, and then like everybody's got the same set of like, oh shit. Everyone's got the same set of like, non-speaking gestures. Got it, got it, got it. Time to kill the rest of them, man. Oh, I don't have any sub weapons. There we go. Is that the last one? No. I was gonna say there might there should be like a, a sound that tells me that I've killed them all. Seriously, still don't know what those hearts do. <laughs> Kicked it! I Was that the color of that thing at the end there? Was that telling me that I got a gold? Or was that just... Is that always the color? I don't know. 
at or below the recommended level. Whoa, okay. I got some medallions. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Machine pistol. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. I got more gestures. Um, okay. I got... I don't, I don't know what the gold does. What was that? Raiders of the... I think that's just for doing a mission. You can get... Clearing the daily mission. Enemy skill boot? Okay. I wonder if it'll actually connect this time. Ooh, I won't be able to use the unevaluated... You have to spend gold to evaluate them. Oh, okay, so that's why they're records. So you gotta use the jukebox. Alright. Oh, what is this? I guess I may as well evaluate. They both just say... Okay. NSR 47. This is like that thing that I've got, isn't it? Um... Oh, piercing ability. Yeah, I'll do that. Mmm... Wow, the sell price goes down really drastically when you actually evaluate it. Uh, this looks... it's just an AK. AKs are... whatever. Rapid fire, high ammo capacity... um... Eh, whatever. I'll leave it for now. Okay, let's switch it out. Oh, skills. Can I actually do something here? What are my skills? Oh, right, this is the one that lets you attack with gestures. Heal under any... um, this one's stupid. Health up. Herb storage capacity. Can I actually buy these? Oh, sure. And what's this? Sounds good too, actually. Oh wait, I don't have enough. Meh. Eh. Can I equip this shit? There we go, yeah, fuck that other one. Oh yeah, hold on. This. He's got the best gesture. Uh, let's see. You imbecile. <laughs> That's his fucking apology. Is you're stupid, you imbecile. Um, goddamn. So you really have to upgrade or level up each character individually? That seems kind of dumb, doesn't it? I mean, whatever, I guess. But it's this. Oh, I got daily mission. Select characters only. Recommended level. No respawning. Clear bonus clip. What are these hearts? You get a bunch of XP for doing it. It seems... Hey, you know what? Screw it, I'll do this thing. I'll do the daily mission. That seems so... weird that you have to... deployment cost. Wait, did, what did I just spend money on? Did I spend money on purchasing consumables or something? Was that what that was? Oh, Jesus. You can have invisible uh, items in there? Oh, fuck! The, the weapon I bought. I was gonna use that, uh, that assault rifle. I forgot. Oh, well. The assault rifle seems a lot more than pistol. What the hell? Oh, this is... I might as well use the shit out of this pistol then. Uh... Whoa, it's... I like how it says burn, burn, burn. Is there like a different use for gold? I guess there are a few uses for gold, but I'm not super sure what they all are. Gotcha, bitch! Let's shoot this open. Machine pistol? Fuck, okay. Use that too. Uh, oh my god! 
Motherfucker. I didn't realize that those things were only around there. Oh man, you've done fucked up, brother. Come on. Get over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my gosh. The fucking. Give me that, give me that. Oh gosh. No! Damn it, they fucking went off. I was trying to get around them. So, I guess these booster guys do something, but I don't know what. Oh, fuck me. I'm not very good at dodging in this yet. I still don't have any, uh. Oh, hold on. Oh, gosh. That's not an explosive, is it? This thing. I don't think so. Shit. Well, I guess I may as well handgun it up. I kind of thought that red whatever it is was an uh, explosive, but it's totally not. Well, this is going to take a while. Maybe. I wonder what that booster means. Oh gosh. Well, that's going to do something. I wonder if those all three count as an enemy. Hopefully. Oh shit, I used all my fucking bullets on that. I guess this is why I used all the bullets for that. Because they sure gave me a lot for whatever that was. Die, motherfucker! Boy, I sure wish I had picked up that fucking assault rifle. That would have been really helpful right now. I guess I'll just waste all of it. What the hell is that? Is his booster like he's got fucking super defense or something? What is that? Oh my gosh. Because, like, I can't even, like, stun him. Oh, you know what? I just realized what his weak point is. It's... It's right... Ah, it's kind of hard to get to, though. Uh, if you can just... Oh, it's, it's really hard to shoot, isn't it? Yes! Yes! That fucking red shit is his weak point. But it's really hard to get to. Was that the last of the ammo that I had? It sure was. I'm gonna have to... Basically gonna have to knife him at this point. Oh, fucking... Alright. Oh, the knife actually does okay damage, kind of. But he's not gonna give me any uh, XP or, or ammo or anything. Shit. I really fucked up. I should have. Uh... You know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this now. Hold on. I wanna. I wanna come back and actually have a decent weapon. Oh, they actually like let me have the XP. How nice of them. I think I'll come back to the daily because that was fucking ridiculous. Oh yes, I get it. Alright, fuck, I'm gonna have to turn the fan on. I usually don't have the t fan on because sometimes you can hear it in the mic, but Jesus fucking Christ, it's hot. <laughs> it's like 80 degrees. If they keep saying these skills, it'd be nice if they, they tell me what the skill is and then tell me what the icon is that actually relates to that skill. So I act thing instead of learn absolutely nothing. Alright, so this is what I wanted to do. This. Look at that. It's, like, so much better than anything else I have. And I can actually upgrade it. Except I don't think I have anything to upgrade it with. Wait, can I actually... How do I even upgrade my weapons? Uh... Can't... Can I not? Wait. Is there a way to upgrade weapons, or is that something that I'll have to do later when I actually get an upgrade for a weapon? Whatever. Does the character even matter? Is there anything, like, special about them? Um, wait, how can... When can I do...